red those lights. Okay, hold on. Let me figure out something here. Like the done here, founder of Millennium Fitness. I am going to do movie day for y'all. Ah, so um, um, the reason why it's so dark is I have the doors down um, and the lighting in here is. And so I had the doors down because my hood rats, as I call them, really wanted to join me today um, for my workout for some reason. So here they are, Seven and Macho just chilling. So um, I um, really hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I do. A lot of the time I'm noticing in almost everybody, everybody, everybody in the fitness world, see, not everybody. I'm exaggerating, but a lot of the people that I know in the fitness world tend to completely and totally not work on their flexibility. It's key. It's key. You can't, okay, wrap your brain around the science of the fact if you're trying to gain muscle, right? If you're trying to gain lean muscle, if you're trying to shape and tone your body, um, or even if you're just a runner, especially if you're just a runner, or even if you're just a Zumba or 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 a turbo kicker, okay? Um, whatever your your passion with fitness is, but especially with strength, you can not strengthen a tight muscle. Think about it. If your muscle is wound up like this, but you're trying to grow it, is it gonna grow if it's wound up like this? Is it gonna expand? It may try to, guess what happens? Injury. So, I'm not gonna say that, like I wanna scream from the rooftops. It doesn't mean you have to be a yogi, it just means you work on your flexibility. Okay, so this is Mr. Moon. <laughs> I like Mr. Moon, it, it feels really good. And I'm gonna tell y'all what, I'm extremely sore, I'm extremely tight. I added weights back into my routines this, this week and so that is why I'm so sore. So if you know um, what a half moon is, what you're gonna do, I hope that you guys don't wanna kick my boyfriend's motorcycle here. Let me turn it this way a little bit. What you're gonna do is basically come into a half moon. Um, well, first come into a three point balance. So come down. Actually, I'm stumbling over my words. Let's just walk down first so that you're in a comfortable position. Oh, that's how tight I am. Come down, walk down. Okay, now you're in plank. Come into a down dog, okay? Swing up your right foot. You can get into this in many different ways, but this is how I'm choosing to come into it. Come, bring, swing your foot in between your hands into a runner's lunge. Kick up your left leg. Now I'm at a three point balance. My hips are square to the floor. My right leg hamstring is stretching like a mofo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to keep my hips not square at this moment. I'm gonna bring this left arm up. Opening the hips, opening the chest. Your goal is to, I hope you can see me all the way, is to look up at your hand. Whoa. But as you can see, you're going to fall and stumble, and that's okay. Um, if you can't look up at your hand, don't. Keep your gaze on the floor. But looking up at the hand will help you open your chest more. Then you're going to bring your arm down, arm down, rotate the hips. See how I'm rotating my hips back square to the ground? And then I'm going to take my right arm up and twist. This is actually the harder side for me. Whoo, if you see me stumbling. Oh! Oh, and then just sit here. So that's a twisting half moon. So when you're doing both, it's Mr. Mr. Moon. Here, there. Let's do it over here. Oh my God. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So do that. Bring your feet together. And whoo, take your little breather if you want to. If not, ow. Y'all, I am so sore. I do the other leg, right? I'm square on my hips right now. Oh. Now, right arm up. I'm gonna try to look up at my hand. Oh, even though I can't see you. Wow, I did. Now look down, bring your neck down, bring 
bring that right hip down, and then left arm is going to go up. Twisting. Oh, y'all, seriously, that hurts so good. And then you just move through the movement. Do it again, rotating, dropping the hip, left arm up. What the hell? I'm going to fall on my face. Woo! The stretch. Bring it down. So my suggestion is to do that at the end of a workout, like I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still stretching. Hold up. Um, and to do maybe like 30, depending on how flexible you are, if you work on things that are, you know, at that nature, maybe do 30 minutes, 30 seconds each leg. Whew, take a breather. Do again for another 30 seconds on each leg. I'm gonna tell you what, your muscles will thank you for it. <laughs> Hi, mommy.